Welcome back everyone to another Coach Blaker video. We're gonna be playing Poppy today. And now if you know who you are, um, I'm playing this because of you, you know, um, this is for one of my students. I want them to reach their goal. And so everything that we were talking about during our coaching sessions and whatnot, I wanna try to apply it to my game and really show you what you should be doing and how you should be approaching it and what you should be looking for. Um, again, you know who you are. And if you guys know who he is, then you know who he is. But uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in coaching, coachblicker.com, of course, is where you want to go. Um, playing, you know, hundreds of games, using thousands of hours on something you can learn in just about 15 minutes. It really doesn't make much sense why you would want to go th down that route. So coachblicker.com, if you are interested in that, there's an option for everybody. I promise. Go check it out if you haven't thought about it yet. So like I said, we're going to be playing Poppy for you. So we're going to talk about everything that we talked about. We're going to be doing everything we talked about. Uh, this is going to be your personal in-depth guide. And then, of course with everybody else that plays Poppy or trying to get into Poppy, this is gonna be for you too. So, we have Dark Harvest, we have uh, Cheap Shot, we have Eyeball Collection, we have Relentless Hunter, we also have Celerity, Poppy's really, really fast, and then of course Water Walking helps with the same exact thing there, um, that movement speed. So, let's go ahead and get into the game. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm so excited. I just can't have the, the question is am I gonna int though look if I int cut the tape cut the, cut the footage cut the footage all right so this is a gold force silver one-ish game as you guys can see there's some gold and there's some some silvers in here uh, we have Aatrox into Mordekaiser we have Poppy into Wukong we have Yasuo into Akali interesting skill match up there we have Timo ADC Ooh, god why do people do stuff like this like god man do y'all just not want to climb? Is that like the y'all are like, dude? I'm go like, <laughs> come on, guys, get your stuff together. Um, into a misfortune, and then we have a Mumu and Senna. So this is rough. This is rough because I don't really want to play to a Teemo because, like, dude, you're Teemo, right? But also, if I don't play that lane, misfortune and Senna are gonna be massive. So we're gonna have to play that bot lane. <sighs> what a fun game this will be. So yeah, we're gonna start top and we're gonna path down. Um, we need to play towards that bot lane. Misfortune and Senna are just very, very annoying to deal with if you've ever been in that lane. And um, they are very, very poke heavy. We do have a lot of engage with the Mumu, so we can get a lot of things set up, but we really need to get this lane rolling. The easiest way to kind of decide what lane you should pack to is based off how that lane functions. Um, if that doesn't make any sense to you or you don't really understand, again, coachblaker.com we can go over those type of concepts together now let's go i don't usually have my chat on so that's how i think right there finger in one ear don't talk to me let me do my job i've always liked poppy i think she's always like one of the goat champions she's one of those champs that are just kind of always good but never really great does that make sense like she's just always useful She's like Kha'Zix. Like they don't really always have their metas, but they still function pretty well. Um, okay. So just a little bit more. You guys know I need music. We go over this almost every gameplay. Don't ever say you're sober. Okay. Oh, does this guy know I want help? All right, because we know Sin and his Fortune are very, very poke heavy of a lane, right? They're gonna get in lane and they're gonna just automatically start poking. We actually can just do a three camp clear and then go ahead and gank them. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do three camps. You can do four if you would like, um, but the goal is we wanna get down there as fast as possible. So we're gonna do three camps. All right, get out of here. So get out of here, vamos. Vamos. So then we're gonna do prompt. Then we're gonna go ahead and take ourselves to bread. We'll try to help Aatrox after we get bot moving, but we really can't have them losing. So Aatrox, do your best, buddy. I say it like he can hear me, but he can't. So they're already back to level two. They're already getting ready to go ape on my laner. You see they're still really healthy, and that's good. What's happening mid lane here? 
during these moments of like walking, you definitely want to be looking at lanes and see what's going on. Doesn't mean you need to help, but it's just seeing what's happening, seeing what's going on. Pop some potions because we want to try to remain as healthy as possible. What's happening, bot lane? So that's actually a really good gank spot. And of course, we knew this. This is why we want to try to do three caps and get there as soon as possible because we want to go for that gank. Ooh, 13 seconds is really high. I, I knew it was long, but I didn't think it was that long. I thought it was like maybe nine seconds. Dead already? Come on, Aatrox. Oof, he went in too early. I'm on my way though. Okay, we're gonna wait for a second. This shouldn't be warded realistically. There's like no way this is. They might walk and ward it now, but it wasn't warded at the time. So we're gonna see. Oh wow, it is warded. Really? Who wards that? It must have been warded prior because they were afraid of a Moomoo. It's like the only thing I can think about. We're gonna go for a repeat gank though. Because uh, we definitely wanna see what's happening. Who flashed? It was Sinna. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We get any like flash plays going? Yeah, I'm just not, I'm not I'm not gonna do that. That lane will fix itself, so we're just gonna go ahead and do our raptors until it fixes itself, and then we're gonna look to go back again. Um, I'm pretty sure that the jungler path up, so he should be topside. There he goes. So he full cleared, it looks like. He did 24 CS. Oh, no, he didn't. He did, uh... So his Krugs are probably still up. Because 24 CS. 24 CS is the whole... All your camps. So he did... Um... He did only five. And then he did this, which makes six. Wukong's definitely gonna gank that bot lane. So when your waves are like in a really, really crappy state, what you want to do is just farm while you're waiting for the waves to get out of the crappy state, if you're playing a ganking jungler. So you farm when there's downtime, and then you want to try to go when there's no downtime. The problem is when you farm during the active hours of your gameplay, or the active moments, and then um, when it's time to be active and you're finished, everything's already said and done. I already know Wukong's going to go for a gank. We already know this based off how he was walking, so he's either on Gromp looking to gank, or he's recalled. We're just going to sit here for a second, maybe recall while we're doing this, just to see what's going to happen. You know, again, I want to play around these guys. I want to make sure they're successful. If I don't have to gank, I don't have to gank. Okay, the wave's about to reset. This is a perfect spot. Oh, it's not going to reset really that well, but... I want to assume this isn't warded. Damn, it is. All right, we're just going to shove it in then. We're going to shove it in because we don't want them to be in a really crappy spot. Now, they might get mad, but that's not how it's worked. We know Wukong's down here. Why on earth would I recall when they're overextended? We want to make sure that they can reset, or we want to make sure that they're if they're not going to reset, they can at least be neutral in lane because I need to reset. So, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and sell these. I can get my boots. Uh, we're gonna go tabs this game just because of their team. There's 380. There's three like heavy auto attack, auto attack, auto attack, auto attack. Plus, you know, Mordekaiser's a melee champ, so he auto attacks, and then Akali also auto attacks, and she has enhanced auto attacks. So every champ is pretty much auto attack based. So we're gonna go with ninja tabs. We just want to ping them that Wukong's alive. We know that the crab is there. We just keep pinging Wukong. What's happening up top? He might get ganked. We just want to be aware. When we're playing a ganking jungler, you know, we want to be aware of opportunities. That's kind of what you're looking for. You're not looking to full clear. You're not looking to do anything. So I don't know where Wukong is, but I'm going to go... We can go in this. Oh, he's level 60. This is perfect. Hello? What was that about? That was really weird. That was weird on my part. Um, but yeah, I wanted to invade just so I could see if I can find Wukong. If I don't know where Wukong is, the best I can do is look for him. That at least gives us a heads up about where he is. He's probably on drag, maybe. Mm, this is rough. I might not be able to do anything here. We'll see, though. She might try to backflip out. There he goes. Cool, cool, cool. The main thing is using the W. That's, like, the huge part about Poppy is using it at the right time. She's so impactful because of that. We're just going to run straight to drag because we want to check. We know that we're not in any danger. We know that Wukong is boss side. There's a high possibility he's down here. Oh, he's not even down here. Is he on the drag? Oh, he is on the drag. Nothing I can really do. He can help me, though. He can help me. So we're going to just go for this fight here because we know that he can help. 
We're just going to go for the slam. We're going to take some damage, keep the fruit. We're going to smite the crab. Should be okay. He should be able to get the double. Come on. Come on, buddy. Cool. So that right there is, again, what we talked about when we were, when we were doing our coaching, right? We, oh, snap. Nice try. You look super mad. How did she... That did that much damage? Riot. Right, we need to talk. She's dead though, cause she got super greedy. But we need to talk. That was a lot of damage. I didn't expect that much. Jesus. Um, holy moly, donut shop. No way she lives. She actually lives. Oh my god, she should have died. Um, anyway, like I was saying, that was a lot of damage. I didn't think she would do that much. But we did get all her sums. So, huge, huge. But like I said, uh. What we were talking about was using our laners, right? We can we can see that their mid laner was dead. We're not gonna take that. We can see that their mid laner was dead. We can also see that he was level seven, right? The only one with Wukong was Sina. So it was perfectly fine for me to take that fight. It was a 2v2 and realistically Yasuo was stronger than both of them. So we took that fight. And we knew Akali wasn't there. Unfortunately, I died to her, um, but I didn't think she'd do that much damage. I would have played that differently. That was a fluke on my part. We already know I'm already on my way. Again, as a ganking jungler, you're looking for like things to do. You're not actually looking to farm. Skill to the face. I didn't really want to take it from him just because of the fact that uh, he flashed for it. You can take it if you want. I was just, I feel like that's bad etiquette. If you know someone flashed for it, then you take it. Don't worry too much about my build order. I don't want you to focus on that. It's fine. Um, there's not any specific reason that I'm building anything. Stick to your build order. You're doing fine when you build it. Um, I did build tabs first, though, just because I wanted to have that resistance at the start. When you're playing something beefy, if you could just rush boots, like if you back with like 1100 or at least close, then you definitely get those boots. We're getting this just because we know that we won that fight up there. So it's just a free objective. Letting them know Wukong's right there. Wukong's looking for a gank onto my mid laner. We're going to rotate just because we see it happening. Again, we're paying attention to the scraps. We're paying attention to what's happening. Bam! Get that ult, baby! Wait, he didn't... Oh, he doesn't have ult. Yikes. That's kind of cringe. Probably got to win this. Yeah, even if I were to slam, I don't think I win that. Okay, he played that bad, but it is what it is. Oh boy. I didn't think that he didn't have R and I did not pay attention. But the thing is, I was assuming that he had ultimate because he was being so aggressive, you know? So I was just like, okay, you're being aggressive because you have R. There's no other reason why you're being this aggressive, right? You're trying to kill her. You have to have R. And then she doesn't have, he doesn't have R. So it's like, uh, this is why it's important to pay attention. People in ELOs like this don't really do things with conscious decision making. It's very, very just like autopilot. So, do your best to actually pay more attention. Dang, I could have uh, played that better if I paid attention to him having no R. I set him up for the perfect ultimate, and then I realized I didn't have it. Oh, I feel so bad. That was such a good play that I made. Well, we learned from that, right? One of the things that high level players can do is learn from whatever happened in the game. So now, I might make the same mistake maybe next game. Who knows? But in this game, we don't make the same mistake. We pay attention to the ultimates and we learn from it. We're still in a good spot. Akali is so broke. Not gonna lie. We need magic resist too. Pretty soon. So she can't one bang me. We're just gonna go in here. Uh, we know that Wukong was bot side. I mean top side. Right? And he ganked mid, so he has to be bot side. I don't really want to fight this. We don't go on that because he decided to go on it. It was a bad time. Look, it was even warded. Like, literally. All I had to do was wait. It was even warded and they still decided to end. Like, come on. Come on. This is why we wait. We can go ahead and call drag here. This is free. Even if Akali shows up with Wukong, it should be relatively free. What's happening there? 
just try to get this guy here. That's all we're doing. As he tries to dash in, we should be able to get it. He's not even gonna try. All right, cool. We ping him back, we ping him back. This is good, it's fine. It's all right, it's all right. We got out, cool. And we went, we got what we came for. There's no reason to fight. There's no reason to stick around. We did our job. Good play. Good play. We're gonna get HP. I know I said I needed magic resist, but I, I really want HP. Um, HP is kind of the resistance to both. Actually, all three, true damage, magic, and uh, physical. So it's kind of like a the triforce of resistance. HP is always, but also it's help finish. It finishes the item too. So you know, kind of like both ways. I like both ways, but I do need magic resist. Why do I need magic resist? Because we already know that Mordekaiser is AP. We also know that Akali was getting a little bit strong, so we want to build towards it. You know, we want to build towards what we're gonna have to deal with in the future. Akali's already pretty big, so we're gonna come up here. We're gonna drop this rift. Ooh, never mind. We're gonna try to drop a mid. Come on, come on, come on, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Oh, I could probably get there. Abi is super fast, man. Just in time. Holy crap. That was super lucky. I didn't look at the plates towards top. Is she really gonna chase me and let that tower fall? Priorities to Kali. But I guess that's what you wanna do. I win though. You don't beat me. You don't beat me, Poppy. I mean, not Poppy. You don't beat me, Akali. Yeah, this is great. What was she doing? Mordekaiser's here though, so we can't really do much. Hey, yo, thanks. Waiting for my team to rotate. I know that they're coming. Huh? Oh, it doesn't work? Well. Okay. So, I did not know that you couldn't knock him away. Obviously, you can't knock him through the realm, but I assumed, I assumed you could knock him away. Like, dead on. I assumed you could knock him, like, back. That's a new thing. Poppy players, if you guys didn't know that, there you go. I hardcore didn't even know that was a thing. But this is why we need magic resist. We're gonna sell this pink to get it. It's kind of grief burning. <laughs> Things are kind of going up there. We're missing people, so we have Sinna and Wukong. That could be coming towards this play, so we gotta be careful. Just pinging them, letting them know. Okay, that could be happening. Good stuff, bottom. Again, the goal of this game was not to farm. I was a lot more active because there was things that I needed to participate in. I'm just looking for stuff to do. And if there's nothing to do, if waves are in really poor spots, then I'm gonna go farm. That sucks that he, they died to that and she got double kill, but at least it wasn't our carry, so. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just force this play. We know Akali had to back and we also know that Mordekaiser's is dead with no TP. So we're just gonna force. Yasuo is massive, so I don't care. I know he's right here with me, I don't care. If we have to fight this, we win, without a doubt, in my mind. Again, remember, when you're doing making plays, try to make it as easy as possible for your teammates. I'm not expecting Yasuo to be God. All I gotta do is literally knock Wukong up or push him back and he can ult. That's all he has to do. No no rocket science, nothing too crazy. Also keep in mind, Yasuo can ult off of your E, off of your knockback. So dragon's getting ready to come up in 50 seconds. We need to A, prepare for it by getting items and recalling, or B, prepare for it by picking someone off. Looks like a fight's taking place, so we have no option um, but to participate. If I can just get there in time. I don't want to waste my W, but I might have to to get there in time. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to just go. Okay, cool. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Ooh, I would have like definitely went on that. You don't need to drop Rift Herald here because we can easily get this tower. You want to make sure you're using your 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 actual like 
Rift Heralds properly. I, I see players misuse Rift Herald so much and they don't use it properly. You always want to make sure that when you drop that Rift Herald, it is towers that you cannot take by yourself. We killed two of them. And the only one standing there was Sinna. There's no way we don't take that tower. So I'm not even worried about it. Skull to the face. Oh wait, shield to the face, not skull to the face. Okay. Beautiful. Awesome. We're gonna go ahead and recall. Um, I don't need any movement speed, so I don't really think I need Force of Nature. Um, we do take 25% reduced magic uh, magic damage, but we could go Spirit Visage. You know, it gives us bonus um, shields. Uh, we don't have any magic damage dealers on our team, so Abysmal Mass is kind of whatever. Maybe we should go this. We could. Yeah, we could go Gargoyles. Best of both worlds. Yeah. I honestly think we don't need the this item. I guess you could say it's really useful for Mordekaiser. But, like, I don't need to be able to get away from that champion. And although they'll take 25% less dam- Or, I'll take 25% less damage from magic. I just don't need it. If I could just have shields and just stay alive better. I don't know. I just feel like... They're both good options, don't get me wrong. But I just feel like Gargoyles is better for the situation. AP is not really just fed. AD is not really just fed. So if I can build towards both in one item, why wouldn't I? That's kind of my thought process to it. I'm just kind of farming until some stuff is happening. We see some plays being made bottom, so we're gonna go ahead and make our way. We know Wukong is probably gonna rotate. So with this in mind, I'm just gonna wait for them to do, okay, or she's just gonna go nuts. Well, she's just dead here. Oh, I didn't think that worked like that. Okay. Not gonna lie. I didn't think it worked like that. I thought that the damage would go through, but I forgot that they changed Poppy. This is why it's important for you to main your champions. This is why it's important for you to main your champions. So little stuff like that, you don't really know unless you main them, man. Like, obviously you can flash over... Uh-oh. Obviously you can flash over the damage. But... You can't flash. I, I mean, obviously, you can flash over the stun, but I didn't know you flashed over the damage as well. Like, it didn't dawn on me. It's not something that I think about actively, so I was just like, well, I'll just hit you. I know you'll flash out, but I'll still be able to, like, slam and get the damage off. Nope. Not in Riot's eyes. Not in Riot's eyes. Oh. That I needed one more auto attack. Alright, cool. We're just gonna recall, because our whole entire team reset. I might as well reset as well. Get some stuff. Don't really have much to get. I still think that magic resist is a little bit more potent right now. So I'm going to get um, the null magic mantle over getting the cloth armor. I feel like I need more magic resist than I need armor. So I'm just going to get the magic resist portion first. We're going to go ahead and participate. Got you this time. Easy. Go ahead and take this. Put the pink ward down. So I've been just playing with this Yasuo this entire game. Like, that is my win condition. That is my carry. So if you guys have noticed, I've been with this dude almost every single play. Any play that he's making, I'm trying to be there. Now, I'm not saying you sit there and basically just follow this guy around. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying if there's plays and you have to choose between who's to impact, it's going to be him because he's my carry right now. Timo's doing okay too, but again, I don't consider him a carry. He's just doing well. I'd rather have a Yasuo being fed than a Timo. I did want to play the Timo to get him out of lane, make sure that he was doing okay. Wukong didn't gank him. You know, I was around for that type of stuff to make him successful, but I do not treat him like he's one of my carries. He's doing well, don't get me wrong, but I'm not going to like, I'd rather continue to play with this guy. This guy's way better to play with. I want to push out top, but I got to make sure that I'm here, right? I'm not playing a farming champion. I'm not playing a champ that scales off of items and whatnot. We're playing a champ that wants to be active. We can't spend our time elsewhere when a play could be happening. Also, dragon's close. Let me just walk up here, maybe get a little ward down. Cool, we got a scanner. Little does he know, he needs to scan to get to drag, so... He just basically screwed himself. Mm. Okay, well, I didn't know that 
do anything. I didn't really want to have that fight, to be honest with y'all. My team just, like, really hard griefed. But hey, what you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm gonna let them be. I don't care what they do, but I'm not doing any of that. Y'all can get it yourself. I'm gonna get this drag. The reason I'm not pinging them back is because they're not really in any danger. Like, they're not gonna die. They should be able to get tower. They have enough manpower. Like, there's no real way that they die. So I don't really have to ping them back. I can ping them back now, though. Because they're spawning, so they need to get out. And I do want help because I'm so slow at clearing it. You see how my team had to reset? People were dying and whatnot. That gave them time to react and do dragon. If I were to do this dragon later and I didn't do it when I did, we had a potential of losing the dragon. We had a potential of fighting and throwing. We had a potential of just doing what we don't want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and recall here. Go ahead and get my gargoyles. Boom. Boom. If you're wondering why I don't get scanners, it's only because I always have Rift Herald. And I didn't really notice this, but I did have a student that was like, your vision is always bad. So I thought about it. And I was like, you know what? I'm always holding Rift Herald. So I don't really have a chance to swap the trinket. And then I also don't have a chance to actually, like, use what I've uh, had. So then I'll keep the boards and... It's because of Rift Herald. Right, do something about that. I'm getting vision scores because of Rift Herald. Okay. Again, we ping them back. We ping them back because there's nobody, like, actually pressuring mid. There's nobody actually pressuring top. There's no one, like, doing anything. Not actually, actively. There's nobody actively pressuring mid or top. Uh... This guy's strong, don't get me wrong. But I want to wait for Yasuo. That's my boy. So we're just kind of hovering. We go for a split. What? Bro. We're diving. Stone plate. See the spell. Shut up. Uh oh. I'm coming. Alright, cool. And so you can see what I mean. Because remember when we talked and we were going over the coaching? We were like, when you're fed, when you you have kind of a pretty big lead, you don't want to use your lead peeling. Did you see? I didn't really have to peel right there because I had a free moment I could just all in them. Right? Now, I'm not saying I'm massive, but I do have enough to kill people. So if I know I can kill a target, I'd rather kill the target myself. Then have that target be alive, and, you know, um, having that target be alive, then, wait, that sucks. Okay, anyway, I'd rather kill the target, than have that target be alive, attacking me and my team. If I can just one-shot them real quick, and then turn back and peel. Um, so, again, like, that whole game was about setting my team up for success. And when you're playing ganking junglers like Poppy and Sejuani and, you know, these champs that don't really scale, Nunu, you're playing to be impactful. You're not really playing for farm. You're not really playing for, like, the majority of things that other junglers tend to play to. You're, you're actively playing for... Um, playing for your team. You're actively making it sure that they're successful. I didn't want to play a Teemo, but I also knew that if I didn't help that bot lane, that bot lane was doomed, and we'd be in a really, really, really bad position. So what I want you guys to take out of this game um, is that when we're playing Poppy, we're playing to be impactful, right? We want to play to the side that actually matters, and we want to focus on being impactful. That doesn't mean we're forcing. That doesn't mean we're forcing plays or making stuff happen. No, nothing that I did that game was really forced, if you think about it. I was just there. I was just there, and if they happened to make a play, there we go. I made a couple of blunders, um, like during the mid lane, where I, that dude didn't have R, and I could blame that guy, but it's not his fault. It's my fault for not recognizing that he didn't have ultimate. Whose fault? So then, throughout the rest of the game, I need to pay attention, because if I do that again, I can probably lose the game off of it. And again, I play, with my, uh, I play with my carry. I play with my Yasuo. I'm not the carry. I'm just the one who, uh, making sure that you guys are. Aatrox did fine by himself. 
Um, he did die a couple times at the start, but you know, we started to then help him out a little bit and he was good to go. Rift Heralds and Dragons, I made sure my Yasuo was there. I didn't call Rift Heralds and Dragons without my Yasuo unless it was a free Rift Herald or Dragon. Um, fighting, team fights and whatnot, that Yasuo wasn't there, I wasn't doing it. Mid to late game, what side did I play around? I played around the side that my Yasuo was on. And we're not looking to to go do anything else. We have our clear cut win condition and we're playing to it. So I hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Again, if you're interested in coaching, coastwigger.com is where you want to go. It's better that you just get a 15 minute session or learn something in 15 minutes or even less. Um, excuse me. Uh, then, you know, play hundreds of games and use a hundred to a thousand of hours, just not really learning anything and not progressing. It, makes playing League of Legends so much more enjoyable when you actually are making progress instead of staying in the same spot. Thank you guys for watching. Peace, peace. Late, late. Have a good rest of your day or night, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for doing what? Approaching this like a coach.